Hello and welcome to another episode of Game On, brought to you by Homer 9 and Sons. I'm Andrew Chiapese, and today we're at Ambridge, where Freedom just defeated the Bridgers 16-0 in six innings, here with Freedom pitcher Matty Slowinski. Matty, thanks for joining us. Congratulations on the win. You guys finished the regular season 8-6, and six, first winning record for Freedom softball in a long time. How's it feel to be able to have this kind of success after such a long wait at Freedom? It's an amazing feeling that you're on a team that has been like have a losing streak and then you come up and it just goes uphill from there. It's an amazing feeling. The big step was last year. You made the playoffs as a team for the first time in 33 years and now you're going back to the postseason second year in a row. What do you think has been the biggest part of this turnaround and this change in culture that you guys have had at Freedom? Um, everybody has a better attitude coming into the game and we're all close together and it's just we're good together. And it seems like it starts from your seniors. Uh, you know, I was watching the game from down the first baseline and I could still hear Lex from out in center field talking constantly. Yeah. And you have two other seniors on the team too mm -hmm. besides her. Uh, what's it like having those three seniors on this team and you know, having them as a presence right now? It's great to have them on the team. I'm going to miss them next year. They they cheer us on every moment of the, like, the game, and they're amazing to have on the team. And, you know, you're part of a pretty big junior class that, that's mm -hmm. been a part of this, too. How did you all come together to have that chemistry that you were talking about? Do you guys hang out after school, after games? I mean, what's that bond sort of like for you? We do hang out, like most of us do, and we are good friends. We've been playing since we were little, so we've all had, like, we've had that bond since we were little. Uh, you had another double-digit strikeout game today. Uh, you've been pitching since you were a fresh, freshman, so you've been the starting pitcher here for three years. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest difference from your freshman year to now in your pitching, and what have you learned about, you know, being a pitcher? I go into the game thinking that I'm going to do good. Like, whenever I was a freshman, I was nervous because it was my first year, but I'm more confident in myself today. Well, now you guys will head into the postseason, and you got a little bit of that experience last year. What did you learn from playing in the playoffs last year that might help you out this time around? We need to keep our heads up the whole time, make, like, Errors cannot happen. We all need to hit the ball constantly whenever there's runners on base. In talking with Coach Boggs a little bit, he said that uh, when one player starts hitting, suddenly everybody starts hitting. What do you make of that? Why, why is this team so capable of suddenly when one player is hitting well, all of you start to follow? Because in the dugout, we're all upbeat and everybody's just cheering everybody on and everybody gets like hyped for just to hit the ball. Finally, Maddie, uh, with the postseason coming up, what are the goals? What are your hopes and expectations for the playoffs here? Do you have specific ones, or is it, you know, take it one game at a time here? Um, it's mostly just take one game at a time, but we need to be confident in ourselves and go out there and play our best to, like, to our, our abilities. All right, Maddie Slowinski and Freedom heading back to the postseason for the second time in a row after a 33-year wait. For more coverage, stay tuned to timesonline.com.